Hunter 1, Hunter 3. Hunter 1, Hunter 3. No sign of the mutant. Permission to return to base. Roger that, Hunter 1. Hunters 2 and 4 reported the same in their quadrants. Got to up for that bullet and slayer. Probably crawling some hole to die. Bring it on home. Besides the hunters, not mutants like you, only at the camps. You mean you never seen a girl? What's a girl? <laughs> oh, I guess that answered my question. Getting this bullet out is gonna hurt, but it has to come out. The material it's made of is toxic. The longer it's in there, the bigger the dose. Wait, wait, wait. If it's gonna hurt, tell me your name. Tell me your name so I'll know what to yell when I have to cuss you out. It's Christopher. The priest gave me that name at the camp. He told us that if we prayed real hard, then we'd be humans when we went to heaven. What should I call you when I want to swear back at you? Well, I don't have a name. They didn't allow it at the laboratory. But I do have a number. Genetic Anomaly 8636. <gasps> Can I call you Jenny for short? You can call me whatever you want. I'm sorry, I don't know why I did that. Usually I'd be upset. But I suspect you really don't know why you did it. I'll explain it to you after you finish bandaging me up. Why were you in the laboratory? I thought they kept all mutants like us in camps. I was in the weapons lab. The scientists spent all their time trying to find new ways to kill us mutants. Chemicals, diseases, radiation. How'd you escape? The order came to get rid of us test subjects. They took us out to this huge pit to have a shot and have our bodies burned. They lined us all up along the edge, about a dozen at a time, to be shot. There were a couple of hundred of us out there just waiting to die. And my mother stayed next to me. And she held my hand. And they killed a few groups of us already when the guards came down for another group. One of the ones they picked was my mother. <laughs> I tried to hold her hand. But she pushed me back. She pushed me back into the crowd. And she looked at me. And she stared at me when the guard told her to look forward. And 
she looked at me. When the guard pointed his gun at her. She looked at me as if she was sorry that she couldn't do anything about it. And when he was about to shoot her, she screamed, run. And all of us scattered and ran. I ran as fast as I could. The guards opened fire and we were falling like rain. And when I looked up, I was the only one left. There was no one else there. So you didn't get shot until after the hunters came after you? You're luckier than you know. The hunters know they shot you and they think that you're dead. When I escaped from the camp with a handful of mutants, they hunted us for months. They only gave up on me because they caught and killed the others and figured I'd die out in the winter. Ten years have gone by now. You've been out here alone ever since? Yes. It looks like you stopped the bleeding. Okay. How do you not know what a girl is? Sorry, I've never heard of a girl. Are you a different kind of mutant? Okay. When I say a word, you recognize, stop me. Lady. Female. She. Her. You've never heard of a female before? Is that another word for girl? So that's what they do with them. At the laboratory, there's mostly females like me. There's maybe a couple dozen males for breeding so they can have test subjects. But when they have the babies, the females stay there and then they send the male mutants off somewhere. And they must send them to the work camps. I think I understand about half of what you're saying, but I still don't know what that word girl means. It means I can't write my new name in the snow. Just hold my hand. Christopher, do you love me? Of course I do, you know that. Do you love our baby? He's not even here yet and I know I love him. I can't even imagine how much I'm going to love him once he's here. You don't know if it's a boy. We might have a girl. Well then I love him just the same. Well then I want you to promise me something. What if our baby isn't a mutant like us? I mean, if it is, if it's born a mutant, we'll teach it how to, how to hide and, and stay out of danger from the hunters. But what if it's normal? Then I'll still love it just as much. I know you will. But I want you to promise me that if it's normal, that we'll give it away. What, Jenny? It's best for our baby. How can we give up our babies? 
If it's normal, then it deserves a normal life. Something that we can't give it out here. It deserves a chance at... If it's normal, it doesn't have to be out here and it doesn't have to be in danger. We're stronger and faster than the humans. We're even morally superior. <sighs> They're evil and they'll hunt us like animals. They keep us in prison and experiment on us to find better ways of killing us. We're better than they are. It's not about who's better. It's about what's best for our baby. You have to promise me. Promise me that if it's normal, then we'll take it to be raised by humans and give it a chance. Okay, Jenny. I promise. It's a boy. He's normal. He's not immune. Let me see it, Christopher. What does our baby look like? Beautiful. He looks just like the humans. 